Hola, hola, que onda mi gente, mi nombre es Mr. Baker, the music maker, coming at you with a hot reggaeton hit. First time I ever done a reggaeton song from none other than Bad Bunny himself. This dude's been topping the charts for a long time. If you don't know what reggaeton music is, it's basically a combination of Jamaican influence as well as a lot of Latin American influence like Bomba, Blenna, and it kind of has hip hop rapping over the top of it. But has a really cool beat. You'll love it. This one's called Moscow Mule from Bad Bunny. Let's hear it. Mm. Mm. That beat in and of itself is incredible. Always gets the body moving. Plays a lot in dance clubs, party music, all that good stuff. Let's get right to making this tune. Pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. We're going to restart. Start from scratch. We've got a blank canvas right here. First things we're going to change is one thing in the settings real quick. Go to settings. I want you to change scale from major to chromatic. Move this back up here. That's all you need to change for now. We're going to come back and change something later. But for now, just scale chromatic. Excellent. So let's dig right in and plug some notes in. We'll go back to the drums here in a little bit. I usually start with the drums. We'll put the tempo at 100 first. Let's go ahead and do that and get that out of the way. Drag that tempo bar down to 100 for a nice medium tempo. And we're just going to put this series of notes in. There's no skips in between these notes. It goes from left to right in an order and it kind of repeats itself. So let's get started right away. It starts with a like a dark green here. Where is it? There it is. This kind of like forest green, not really that dark teal, but like a forest green. Right after that, you got this kind of magenta right here. After that, you got its dark orange. Then you got another forest green. Let's hear that so far. Mm, excellent. Now you're going to do the, the lighter green right below that, directly after that forest green. Then you're going to do magenta again, then the dark orange again then another light green there's your first bar check that out kind of has the same shape if you look at this and look at that it's a similar shape but the green just drops down one so forest green magenta dark orange forest green lighter green magenta dark orange lighter green let's hear it excellent first bar is done let's keep going starts with another light green on that gray section here then a magenta then a dark orange, and then two more light greens, and then a magenta, and then an orange, and then another light green. So there it is. Check that out. It's very similar to these shapes, but it kind of repeats that figure twice more. And that's the whole first half of this pattern. Let's hear it. Oh, excellent. So the first two bars are done. This white section and gray section is complete. And the cool thing about this tune, very repetitive, it repeats that exact same two bars right after that. So I'm going to quickly just throw that in, in the same order that I did before. And as I'm doing that, I'll go ahead and throw in a little shameless self-promotion here. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Please support all this music education content and keep these requests coming. Love all these hot requests. I try to keep the modern pop tunes coming and a lot of cool songs you guys like to the best of my ability. So like and subscribe, much appreciated. So as you can see, I copied these two bars right here. Easy peasy. So these are the same as those. Let's hear it. Oh, excellent. That's a really repetitive straight eighth note pattern that just keeps repeating itself. Now we're going to go back and change one more thing in the settings, like I said we would before. I wanted to put these in first. This is much more simple because when we change this in the settings, it's going to look a lot more complicated, but it's really not. I'm going to put the drums in now, but again, go to settings. Here's the gear icon. You're going to split beats into, on the bottom left, four. Because we need 16 notes to play that traditional reggaeton drum pattern. So... Now, obviously, it looks a lot more spaced out, looks a lot weirder to put in, much more simple to put in as eighth notes, and then change that setting later. So now that we got that, let's go ahead and add the drums. The drum pattern is pretty cool. It's got a circle, skip two, triangle, then circle. Skip one, then triangle. Mm. Then it's going to repeat that. So it has that same two, two beats repeated like this. Uh, 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 
So, ah, ah. Then we're going to do that again in this gray section. Except in the very last part of the gray section, it's going to change up a little bit. So these last two beats of the gray section, it kind of changes the snare pattern right here. It goes circle, triangle, skip, triangle, circle, skip, triangle, skip. So it repeats this again and again. And then this last part of the gray section is different. Let's hear that. Uh, got a little flow to it. Got a little groove. Makes the body want to move. Oh, yeah. Now, very simple. That pattern repeats again on the second half. There's a lot more to the song. This is just the basic flow of the background bass line along with the drum part, which is what the main essence of the song is. So I'm going to put that again. Circle, skip two, triangle, then circle. Skip one, triangle, skip one. Repeat. Very simple. Reggaeton is a really strong dance beat, but it's simple for a reason because the simplicity makes people want to move. Let me check that last section just as we have here. These last two beats of the gray are the same as these last two beats. It's all the same except for that last part of the gray section. Circle, triangle, skip one, triangle, circle, skip one, triangle, skip one. And if you got all that rolling, that should be the whole tune. Let's hear it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Cool. So now you can experiment with a few other things. Once you experiment with the sounds, I tried some sounds out like congas, which is a traditional Latin American drum that has a cool sound to it too. Whatever floats your boat. I like either electronic or kit personally. Kit's like an actual drum set and the electronic kind of matches, I think, the tone of the actual drums in the song. So you can then change your instrument sound. Marimba, that's a traditional Latin American, African instrument. So that works too. You could change it to piano. That's got a good flow to it too. That feels nice. I didn't really like strings when I tried that out. Synth, that has a cool beat to it too. That has that modern hip hop flavor. Mm. Feels good, sounds good, makes you want to groove, makes you want to move. That's that reggaeton for you. A hit by Bad Bunny, the baddest rabbit of them all. Oh, yes, indeed. Again, thanks for watching. My name is Mr. Baker, the music maker. Like and subscribe if you like my content. I like to put out a lot more educational musical content for you guys. Keep those requests coming. I don't know what's hip. You guys know a lot more than me, so keep me hip to all the cool stuff. I'm going to keep rocking and you keep rolling. Yes, keep it coming. Thanks again for watching. My name is Mr. Baker, the music maker. Peace out.